Hey, this is the Valor Fitness CB12 lat pull-down unit. Don't let the phrase lat pull-down limit you to thinking it only does lat pull-downs. In fact, it does quite a few uh, different features for your body workout. Up top, obviously, you have the lat pull-down. That can be the lat pull-down as well as the tricep. In the middle, you have an ab crunch harness, more for doing crunches for the abs right in here. And down low, you have a seated row, you have stand-up curls, you have stand-up upright rows and also do, again you can do the triceps from uh, the front position face and machine. On the back you have a plate storage. Now we have two 45 pound plates on here for a reason. Not that I'm going to work out with that much weight right now. It's to show that the unit can hold 245 simultaneously on the same side be a plate storage as well as on the carriage. But that's a whole other story. We'll go through each section individually for the CB12 lat pull down unit. Okay here we have the the crunch station you've got a harness <clears throat> that goes over your shoulders like so find your position as far as adjusting the seat up and down for the harness distance adjust your weights in the back I would suggest put your toes back behind the mainframe to give you some uh, some kind of a torque resistance as you lean forward so grab the handlebars you lean forward do the crunches and that's for your abs and that's the seated ab crunch station for the CB12. Up top we have two stations. One being the traditional lat pull down which is named by the machine. The second you have a tricep option. Here I'm using the smaller of the two bars provided. This is, we call this the T bar. This is used for the seated rows, stand up uprights, and also your curls, but can also be used for the tricep pull down. Again, set your desired weight, get your uh, bar clipped in, step on the foot plate down below, bring the bar down. Again, this is more just for your triceps. You got plenty of travel as far as the carriage in the back. Bring it up. There you go. The next option, we have the lat pull down bar. This comes with it. Just remove the, uh, the bar. Set your desired weight as far as your weight back on the carriage. You want to sit down here. Of course, reach up and grab the bar. And as you bring it down, you want it to come down in front of your head, not behind. Too many people hit the back of their neck. Right back there, you'll find out when you hit it that it hurts quite a bit. But you want to come down in front of your head. For that pull down, just watch your face as far as the bar. And that's the lat pull down for the CB12. Okay, for the seated row, you can adjust the chain so your starting position brings you forward so you already start with some tension and you start to lean back. So for this exercise, I've got the right weight on the, the unit. I got the chain adjusted so I kind of lean forward to grab the T-bar, get my legs positioned correctly. And as I lean back for my, I guess, a back workout, I've also got some rowing here for the chest and the shoulders. So this is the seated row for the CB12 lat machine, but also this is for the seated row and also for triceps. Okay, here we have the, the what we call the standing upright rows, more this position. When you do this one, make sure you take the seat off. If you don't, the cable is going to rub right through the seat of the fabric. So remove the seat first, get in position, set your chain to the right length. Again, this, this exercise is for the standing upright row. So get the right weight on the back side, <clears throat> adjust the cable, get your position on the, the foot pad there. If you're not on the foot plate, you might end up lifting the whole machine up. So that's the reason for the foot plate is to let your body weight kind of ground as a counterbalance to the weight you're pulling up. So get your position. You got your upright rows. You also have your turn this around. You can do curls. In both exercises, again, make sure the seat's removed so the cable doesn't cut through the seat. Okay, back here we have the plate carriage as well as the plate storage. You'll notice this is a one inch bar that's kind of called your traditional standard size versus the two inch hole called the Olympic size. You can see that it does fit on the one inch bar and yes there's some room for play. That will not affect the performance of the carriage going up and down. As long as the carriage doesn't tilt side to side the plates are fine, the Olympic plates are fine on the one inch bar. You also have a clip you can slide over the one inch bar to hold the plates on <clears throat> They're not going to go anywhere, but if you so choose and you want to be the traditionalist as far as having the Olympic sleeve, we sell these extra. 
This goes on the, the one inch bar. You screw it down with an Allen wrench. It holds it firm. You can now put your Olympic plates on there and they fit a little more secure. Again, that's if you want to have the, uh, the Olympic look. Down low, we have a plate storage. You'll notice that the 45 pound plate fits fine on the lower uh, peg. It also fits up here, so by chance, if you had four 45 pound plates, they'll all fit interchangeably. Two down here, two up here, they work fine. So this is the back side of the CB12 lat pull down.